How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. As for me, through your abundant grace, I enter your house to worship with awe in your sacred place. O oh Lord, I love the house where you dwell and the place where your glory tabernacles. I shall prostrate myself and bow. I shall kneel before the Lord, my maker. To you, eternal one, goes my prayer. May this be a time of your favor. In your abundant love, O oh God, Answer me with the truth of your salvation. Matavu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishken Otecha Yisrael Matavu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Va'ani berov chastecha avo vetecha. Eshtachave el heichal kadshecha v'yiratecha. Adonai ahavti ma'om vetecha u'mekom mishkan kavodecha. Va'ani eshtachave v'echra'a evrecha lifnei Adonai osi. Ba'anit filati lecha Adonai et ratzon. Elohim berav chastecha. Aneni ve'emet yishecha. The Baruch Shemar prayer serves as an opening for the verses of praise or Pesuke de Zimra, which tell of God's greatness and how he manifests himself within creation. Baruch sheamar vehaya olam Baruch hu Baruch ho severeshit Baruch ho mer veoseh Baruch ho zer umekhayem Baruch merachem al haaretz Baruch merachem al habriot. Baruch mishalem sakar tov li re'av. Baruch chay la'at v'chayam la'netzach. Baruch v'odeh u'matzihil. Baruch shema. Blessed is he who spoke, and the world came into being. Blessed is he. Blessed is he who maintains creation. Blessed is he who speaks and does. Blessed is he who decrees and fulfills. Blessed is he who has mercy on the earth. Blessed is he who has mercy on the creatures. Blessed is he who gives goodly reward for those who fear him. Blessed is he who lives forever and endures to eternity. Blessed is he who redeems and rescues. Blessed is his name. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, praised by the mouth of your people, lauded and glorified by the tongue of your loved ones and your servants. We also will praise you, O Lord our God, with the songs of David your servant. With praises and psalms we will magnify, Lord, and glorify you. And we will make mention of your name and proclaim you, our King, O our God. You, the only one, the life of all worlds. O King, praised and glorified be your great name forever and ever. Blessed art you, O Lord, a king extolled with praises. And we all say, Amen. Shohein Ad which means abiding forever or he who dwells, is taken from Isaiah 57, 15. 
It goes in part, God dwells forever. Exalted and holy is God's name. And it is written, shout joyfully, righteous ones, for God, for praise is fitting. In the mouth of the upright, you will be exalted, O God, and with the words of righteous ones, you will be blessed. And with the tongue of those who do deeds of loving kindness, you will be sanctified. And in the midst of the holy ones, you will be praised. Shalchenad maram bekadosh emor bechatuv rananu tzarikim banonai la'yesharim nabatehila behefi yesharim titalal uvedivre tzarikim titbarach. Uvil shon chasidim titromam Uve kerev kedoshim Tit kadash Mashiv ladonai Kol tag mulavalai Mashiv ladonai Kotag mula valai, Kosi shuo desa, Uve shame madona ekra, Kosi shuo desa, Uve shame madona ekra, Lecha es bach, Zevach toda, Uve shame madona ekra. Lecha his bach, Zevach toda, Uvashem Madonna Yakra. Kosi Shuo Tessa, Uvashem Madonna Yakra. Kosi Shuo Tessa, Uvashem Madonna Yakra. Nedarai Ladonai, Nedarai Ashalem, Nedarai Ladonai, Nedarai Ashalem, Kosi Shuo Tessa, Uvishem Madonai Akra. Kosi Shuo Tessa, Uvishem Adonai Ekra. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with a harp and lyre. Praise him with a timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, el bechot shah. Hallelujah, bikia uta. Hallelujah, bikvorotav. Hallelujah, kerov gullo. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, bete kashofar. Hallelujah, be never vechinar. Hallelujah, be tofu machal. Hallelujah, be minum vugav. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, bitzel sela shama. Hallelujah, bitzel sele Torah. Call on shama to hallelujah. Hallel, hallelujah. Call on shama to hallelujah. Hallel, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, do let her not Ki le olam chasto, haodu la dona ki tov. Ki le olam chasto, haodu 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 la dona ki tov. How do, how do, how do, how do, how do, Ladona Kito? Give thanks to the Lord, He is good, His mercy forever endures. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good, His mercy forever endures. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord, He is good. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord, He is good. As we began our verses of praise with Baruch Shemar, blessed is he who spoke, we conclude our verses of praise with Yishtabach, which means be praised. And we thank Hashem for the opportunity to sing musical songs of praise unto Him. So we say, may your name be praised forever, our King. Blessings and thanksgivings from this time and forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God, King exalted through praises. God of thanksgivings, master of wonders, who chooses musical songs of praise, King, God, life giver of the world. And we all say, Amen. <laughs> Baruch Ataronai El Melech Kado Batish Bachot El Haudaut Adon Haniflaut Habocher Bishire Zimra Melech El Hei Haolamin Marhu et Aronai Hamevara Baruch Aronai Hamevara Leolam Baruch Aronai Hamevara Leolam Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai 
ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך. והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך. ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשכבך ובקומך. וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לטוטפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, ויהבת לרעך כמוך. It is now time for the Amidah. On Shabbat we recite seven blessings as opposed to the 19 blessings of the Amidah. So we begin with the three first blessings, honoring Hashem for His faithfulness his power and his holiness. Then we go to the sanctification of Shabbat. After that, we ask him to restore the service of the temple, which is us asking Hashem to send Messiah. Because when Messiah returns, the temple service will be restored and Jerusalem will be rebuilt. After that, we give thanks for answered prayers and then we thank him and pray for the peace of all Israel. Before we say Amidah, it is customary for us to begin with Mika Mocha. And Mika Mocha is the song that Israel sang after they crossed the Red Sea. Who is like you, O God, in all the earth? There is none like you. And Mika Mocha is really getting our hearts ready so that we can stand before the King of Kings, that we can know that the one before whom we stand is all powerful, he is almighty, and he is amazing. So let us join together and sing Mika Mocha, and then we will begin reciting portions of the Amidah. Mi chamocha b'elihim Adonai Mi chamocha nedar b'kodesh Nahorati hilot ahose pehele who is like thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorified in holiness? You are awesome in praise, working wonders, O Lord, who, who is like Thee, O Lord. Adonai sefatai tiftach Ufia gite hilatecha. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruchata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, 
Ail Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El Yon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Vekone Hakol Vizoher Haste Avot Who may be go el live nave in a hem Leman Shemo Beahava Melech Hoser, Moshia, Magain. Melech Hoser, Moshia, Magain. Baruchata, Donai, Baruchata, Donai. Magain, Avraham. Baruchata, Donai, Baruchata, Donai. Magain, Avraham. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. Atagibor le olam Adonai Mechayeh meitim Atarav le hoshia Mechal keo chayim bechesed Mechayeh meitim Berachamim rabim So mech noflim Berofe cholim Umatir asurim Umakaye memunato Lishene afar Mihi chamo chabal giburot Umihi do melech Melech me mitu mechaye Umat miach yeshua Venemanata lahayot meitim Baruchata Adonai Mechaye ha meitim. It is now time for Kedusha, where we sanctify the holiness of God's name. We sanctify your name in this world as they sanctify it in the highest heavens. As it is written by your prophet, and one called out to the other and proclaimed, Holy, holy, holy is Adonai Tsefaot. The fullness of the whole earth is God's glory. Majesty, our majestic one, Adonai our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Blessed is the glory of Adonai from every place. You alone are our God. You are our source. You are our ruler. You are our savior. And in your mercy, in the sight of all that lives, you will let us hear, I am Adonai your God. Adonai shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, from generation to generation, Hallelujah! To all generations we will make known your greatness, and to all eternity proclaim your holiness. Your praise, O God, shall never depart from our lips. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Keshem shemakti shimo to bishme marom kakatu valyad nevyecha vekharaz el zeve amar kadosh 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 adonai tsevaot melocho haaretz Adir Adirenu Adonai Adonainu Matir Shimcha Bechol Haaretz Baruch Hevol 
Adonai Mimchomo Echaz hu Eloheinu Hu avinu hu malcheinu Hu moshienu vehu yashmienu Berachamav leinecho chai Ani Adonai Elohechem Yemloch Adonai leolam Elohai ikzion Lesdor vador Hallelujah Ulnetzach netzachim kedushat zchor naktish Vishifchacha Eloheinu Mipinu lo yamush leolam vaed Baruch ata Adonai ha'el ha'chadosh Let's join together in proclaiming the Shabbat as we learn it from Exodus 31. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it throughout the generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Shabbat to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. <laughs> לעשות את השבת לדורותם ברית העולם ביני ובין בני ישראל אותי לעולם כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ וביום השביעי שבת In Zechariah chapter 8, the Lord promises to bless Jerusalem. In verse 3, this is what we read. This is what the Lord says, I will return to Zion and dwell in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city and the mountain of the Lord Almighty will be called the holy mountain. Let us join together in praying for the rebuilding of Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, your city, may you return in compassion and may you rest within it, as you have spoken in Zechariah 8.3. May you rebuild it soon in our days as an eternal structure, and may you speedily establish the throne of David within it. Blessed are you, Lord our God, the builder of Jerusalem. Amen. We give thanks to you, for you are the Lord our God and God of our fathers forever and ever. Through every generation, you have been the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation. We thank you and declare your praise for our lives that are in your hands, for our souls that are entrusted to you, for your miracles that are daily with us, and for your wonders and your favors that are with us at all times evening, morning, and noon. Beneficent one, your mercies never fail. Merciful one, your kindness never cease. We have always placed our hope in you. For all these acts, may your name be blessed and exalted continually, our King forever and ever.
Let every living thing give thanks to you and praise your name in truth. God, our salvation and our help. Blessed are you, Lord, whose name is the Beneficent One, and to whom it is fitting to give thanks. Sim shalom tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Israel, ve'al kol Israel amecha, barakenu avinu kulanu chechad, ve'opane echa. Kivor panecha natatalanu Adonai Eloheinu. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu. Ve'al kol Israel, ve'al kol Israel amecha. Torotz chayim ve'avat kesed, ve'avat chesed. Utzadach ha'uvracha ve'rachamim, v'chayim v'shalom, sim shalom, sim shalom. Tova uvracha, chen v'chesed, v'rachamim v'rachamim aleinu. Ve'al kol Israel, ve'al kol Israel amecha, v'tov b'necha levarech et amcha Israel. Bechole tuf kol sha'a b'shlomecha. Sim shalom, tova uvracha. Chen v'chesed v'rachamim v'rachamim aleinu Ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha Baruch atah Adonai ha'mivarech et amu Yisrael b'shalom Grant peace, goodness and blessing grace and kindness and mercy to us and to all Israel, your people. Bless us, our Father, one and all, with the light of your face. For by the light of your face, you have given us, Lord our God, a Torah of life and love of kindness, charity, blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May it please you to bless your people Israel at all times and in every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people Israel with peace. Amen. And as we come to the end of the Amidah, we close with Psalm 1915. And we say to Hashem, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O God my rock and my redeemer. Ye you leratzon im refi vehegyon libi lefanecha Adonai Tzuhuri Vigali Adonai Tzuhuri Vigali May the Heart 
be acceptable to you oh god my rock and my redeemer Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali It is now time for the Torah service. Usually, in a synagogue, at this time, the Torah scrolls are removed from the Aron HaKodesh, or the Holy Ark. And this is usually done with a series of biblical verses that are chanted, usually coming from the book of the Psalms, describing God's grandeur and role as king of the universe. Now, the Aron HaChodesh, or the Echal as it's called, harkens back to the cabinet that housed the tablets of the Ten Commandments in the Holy of Holies, in the portable tabernacle, and later in the temple in Jerusalem. As we are removing the Torah from the Ark, it is customary for the congregation to chant verses from Numbers 10, 35, reminding us of when the ark was carried forward and Moses would say, Arise, Lord, and may your enemies be scattered. May your foes be put to flight. It is also customary for us to recite from Isaiah 2, 3, which is a beautiful reminder that the Torah shall go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Let us now prepare our hearts to hear the reading from the word of God. En kamocha v'elohim Adonai v'yein kimasecha Machutcha machut kol olamim umem shaltecha Bechol dor vador, Adonai melech, Adonai malach, Adonai himloch, Leolam vahed, Adonai oz liyamo yitain, Adonai yevarech, Et amo vashalom. Vayehi bin soa ha'aron, vayomer Moshe, kuma Adonai, veyafutsu oivecha, veyanusu misanecha, mipanecha. Ki mitzion, Tetze Torah, Ki Mitzion, Tetze Torah, Udevar Adonai, Mi Yerushalayim, Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah, Baruch 
שנתן תורה תורה לעמו ישראל בהקדושתו ברכו את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלאק העולם אשר ברכה בנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census of the sons of Gershon, also by their father's houses, and by their clans. From 30 years old to 50 years old, you shall list them, all who can come to do duty, to do service in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the clans of the Gershonites, in serving and bearing burdens. They shall carry the curtains of the tabernacle and the tent of meeting with its covering and the covering of goat skin that is on top of it, and the screen for the entrance of the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the entrance of the gate of the court that is around the tabernacle, and the altar, and their cords and all the equipment for their service. And they shall do all that needs to be done with regard to them. All the service of the sons of the Gershonites shall be at the command of Aaron and his sons in all that they are to carry and in all that they have to do. And you shall assign to their charge all that they are to carry. This is the service of the clans of the sons of the Gershonites in the tent of meeting and their guard duty is to be under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron, the priest. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When either a man or a woman makes a special vow, the vow of the Nazarite, to separate himself to the Lord, he shall separate himself from wine and strong drink. He shall drink no vinegar made from wine or strong drink, and shall not drink any juice of grapes or eat grapes, fresh or dried. All the days of his separation, he shall eat nothing that is produced by the grapevine, not even the seeds or the skins. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וקיי עולם נטע בתוקנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר ברכר בנביאים טובים ורצה ודבריהם הנאמרים באמת ברוך אתה אדוני הבוחר בתורה ובמשה עבדו ובישראל עמו ובנביאי האמת וצדק.
There was a certain man of Zorah, of the tribe of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. And his wife was barren and had no children. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold, you are barren and have not born children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. Therefore, be careful and drink no wine or strong drink and eat nothing unclean. For behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. No razor shall come upon his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb and he shall begin to save Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like the appearance of the angel of God. Very awesome. I did not ask him where he was from, and he did not tell me his name. But he said to me, Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. So then, Drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. Then Manoah prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, please let the man of God whom you sent come again to us, and teach us what we are to do with the child who will be born. And God listened to the voice of Manoah, and the angel of God came again to the woman as she sat in the field. But Manoah, her husband, was not with her. So the woman ran quickly and told her husband, Behold, the man who came to me the other day has appeared to me. And Manoah arose and went after his wife and came to the man and said to him, Are you the man who spoke to this woman? And he said, I am. And Manoah said, Now, when your words come true, what is to be the child's manner of life, and what is his mission? And the angel of the Lord said to Manoah, Of all that I said to the woman, let her be careful. She may not eat of anything that comes from the vine, neither let her drink wine or strong drink or eat anything unclean. All that I commanded her, let her observe. Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, Please, let us detain you and prepare a young goat for you. And the angel of the Lord said to Manoah, If you detain me, I will not eat of your food. But if you prepare a burnt offering, then offer it to the Lord. For Manoah did not know that he was the angel of the Lord. And Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, What is your name? So that when your words come true, we may honor you. And the angel of the Lord said to him, Why do you ask my name, seeing it is wonderful? So Manoah took the young goat with the grain offering and, and offered it on the rock to the Lord, to the one who works wonders. And Manoah and his wife were watching. And when the flame went up toward heaven from the altar, the angel of the Lord went up in the flame of the altar. Now Manoah and his wife were watching and they fell on their faces to the ground. The angel of the Lord appeared no more to Manoah and his wife. Then Manoah knew that he was the angel of the Lord. And Manoah said to his wife, We shall surely die, for we have seen God. But his wife said to him, If the Lord had meant to kill us, he would not have accepted a burnt offering and a grain offering at our hands, or shown us all these things or now announce to us such things as these. And the woman bore a son, and called his name Samson. And the young man grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him in Manahedan, between Zorah and Eshtaol. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Tzor Kol HaOlamim Tzadik Bechol Adorot HaEl HaNeeman HaOmer VeOseh HaMedaber UMchayim SheKol Devara VeMet VaTzedek Al ha Torah, ve al ha Avoda, ve al ha Nevi'im, ve al Yom ha Shabbat ha Zei, 
Shena tatalanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Likdusha velimnu ha ha, Lechavot ultifaret. Al ha hol, Adonai Eloheinu, Anachnu modim lahach, Umevarkim utahach, Yit barach shimcha befi hochai, Tami leolam va et Baruchata Adonai Mekadesh Hashabat. When the Torah scroll is returned to the Aaron, it is customary for us to say, When the ark was set down, Moses prayed, O Lord, dwell among the myriad families of Israel. Come up, O Lord, to your sanctuary, together with the ark of your glory. May your priests be clothed in righteousness, and may your faithful ones rejoice. I have given you precious teaching. Forsake not my Torah. Then we sing Eitz Chaim. The Torah is a tree of life for those who take hold of it. Et chayim hi, la machazikim ba, vetam cheha meushal, derachheha, darchenam, vecham netivateha. Shalom, Hashivenu Adonai, Elecha v'nashuva, Chadesh, Chadesh yameinu, Chadesh yameinu, it is now time for us to say Chadish, which means sanctification. And although this prayer has been called the mourner's prayer, it is actually a prayer that we recite remembering and sanctifying the name of Hashem. So we're gonna recite Kaddish in English and then it will be chanted in Hebrew. Glorified and sanctified be God's great name throughout the world which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom in your lifetime and during your days and within the life of the entire house of Israel, speedily and soon. And we all say, Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, extolled and honored, adored and lauded be the name of the Holy One, blessed be he, beyond all the blessings and hymns, praises and consolations that are ever spoken in the world. And we all say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life for us and for all Israel. And we all say, Amen. Yeshmerabamivarach, 
ויתפר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמי דקודשה ברכו לילה מנקו ברכתה ושירתה תושפחתה ונחמתה תמירן ביומה ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במומיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו ואמרו אמן יעשה שלום יעשה שלום שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. ואמרו, ואמרו אמן. He who makes peace in his high places, he shall make peace upon us and upon all of Israel, and we all say, Amen. At this time, let us all join together in praying for Refua Shlema, for healing for those who may not be feeling well today. We pray for healing and restoration of mind, body, and spirit. And we pray Mishe Berach, which is a prayer to the one who blesses us with healing. We pray for each and every person Please feel free to mention the names of those who you know who may not be feeling so well today. And we pray for the whole house of Israel and for all of humanity, for healing of body and spirit. <laughs> מקור הברכה לאמותינו. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say Amen. Mi sheberach imoteinu mekor habracha lavoteinu. Bless those in need of healing. With Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. And let us say Amen. May the one who blessed our ancestors, our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our mothers Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. May the Holy Blessed One overflow with compassion upon us, to restore us, to heal us, to strengthen us, to enliven us. May the Holy One, blessed be He, send complete healing, 
healing of the soul and healing of the body among the people of Israel and all humankind. And we all say, Amen. We have a biblical obligation to pray for the land of Israel. Join us now as we pray for the Holy Land. Our Father in heaven, rock and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, the first manifestation of the approach of our redemption. Shield it with your loving kindness. Envelop it in your peace and bestow your light and truth upon its leaders, ministers, and advisors, and grace them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Grant them deliverance and adorn them in a mantle of victory. Ordain peace in the land and grant its inhabitants eternal happiness. Remember our brothers and sisters scattered to distant lands. Lead them swiftly and upright to your city Zion and to Jerusalem, the abode of your name, as it is written in the Torah of your servant Moses. Even if your outcasts are at the ends of the world, from there the Lord your God will gather you, from there he will fetch you and the Lord your God will bring you to the land that your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it, and he will make you more prosperous and more numerous than your fathers. Draw our hearts together to revere and venerate your name and to observe all the precepts of your Torah, and send us quickly the Messiah, son of David, to redeem those who await your deliverance. Manifest yourself in the splendor of your boldness before the eyes of all the inhabitants of the world. And may everyone endowed with a soul affirm that the Lord God of Israel is King and his dominion is absolute. Amen forevermore. We also have a biblical obligation to pray for the land that we live in, that it will experience peace and prosperity. If the land is prosperous, then we too will experience prosperity. Let us all at this time pray for our individual country. Please feel free to mention your country by name. Let us pray. Our God and God of our ancestors, we ask for your protection, guidance and blessing for our country, for its government, for its leaders and advisors and for all who exercise just and rightful authority. Teach them insights from your Torah that they administer all affairs of state fairly, that peace and security, happiness and prosperity, justice and freedom may abide in our midst. Establish soon the vision of your prophets for the nations of the world. Nation will not raise a sword against nation, and they will no longer learn war. And as it is said, for all of them will know me, from the smallest to the greatest. Amen. It's our duty to bless our children. We should bless them every day. But it's customary for us to bless our children on Shabbat. At this time, I want to encourage those of you who are parents to rest your hand, your right hand upon your children and recite blessings over them. Over our sons, we say, may God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. Yesimcha Elohim ke Ephraim v'chim and over our girls, we say, may God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Yesimech Elohim, ke Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah. After which we recite the 
Iranic blessing over our children. We say, may Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai cause his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. May Adonai lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Avinu Sheba Shamaim Yit Kadash Shemecha Tavo Machutecha Ye a Seret Soncha Baaretz Kasher Nasa Vashamaim Ten Lano Hayom Lechem Chukenu Uslach Lano at Ashmatenu Kasher Sochim Anachnu Lasher Ashmulano Beat Tivienu Lide Masa Kim Hatsilenu Minhara Kilecha Hamamlacha Vahagvura Vahatiferet Laomeola Mim Amen. Shabbat Shalom and welcome to our weekly sermonette. In this week's portion, God gave Moses instructions to count the Levites and to assign duties to each group as to how they would serve in the tabernacle. We also read about the priestly blessing as well as the laws of the wayward wife and the Nazarite. Toward the end of the Parsha, we read all of 89 verses detailing the contributions for the inauguration of the altar that the 12 princes of each tribe brought before Hashem. Hashem instructed that they should offer their gifts one chief each day for the dedication of the altar. What makes these verses so fascinating is that each prince brought the same gifts to God. However, the Torah lists each prince and each item brought before Hashem 12 different times. The rabbis bring down a very important teaching and it has to do with intent. They say, 
that although all the princes brought the same offering before God, each heart posture was different. They were all doing the same act, but every intention was different. Similarly, we all recite the same words in our prayers and perform more or less the same commandments. Yet, at the same time, we are individuals. We are not only permitted to express our own individual feelings and intent in our prayers and in performance of the commandments, we are required to do so. Furthermore, just as the Torah repeats the same words, but each time the inner meaning is different, so are we intended to bring new meaning to the actions and words that we repeat daily. Each day's prayers and deeds should really reflect the unique spiritual accomplishments we have made since the last time we prayed or performed them. Great food for thought. Shabbat Shalom. As we conclude our worship service this afternoon, we will sing Ein Chaloheinu. Ein Chaloheinu, Ein Kadoneinu, Ein Kimokeinu, Ein Kimoshienu, Mi Chaloheinu, Mi Chadoneinu, Mi Chimokeinu, Mi Chimoshienu. No del Eloheinu, no del Adoneinu, no del Emokeinu, no del Emoshienu, Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Moshienu. Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu Shektiru, Avahoteinu, Lefahanecha, Et Kitoret Hasamim. Leolenu, it is our duty. It goes in part, it is our duty to praise the master of all, to acclaim the greatness of the one who forms all creation. And we bend our knees and bow down and give thanks before the ruler, the ruler of rulers, the holy one, blessed is he, the one who spread out the heavens and made the foundations of the earth, and whose precious dwelling is in the heavens above, and whose powerful presence is in the highest heights. Adonai is our God, there is none else. Our God is truth and nothing else compares. As it is written in your Torah, and you shall know today and take to heart that Adonai is the only God in the heavens above and on earth below, there is no other. Aleinu l'shabayach l'adon hakol L'atet kidula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'goye haratot V'lo osamanu k'mishpechot hadama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem V'gaor aleinu Kechol hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishtachavim, umodim. Lifne melech, mache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehu no te shamayim vyoseh da'aretz 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face toward you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his face toward you and give you peace. <laughs> 